It then proceeds to sing the words, I feel fantastic. This is the you type of dark web shit. Type. Accompanied oh by electronic music. They Reapers. What is good? It's your boy Laser. You guys are on the vibes. We're back with some more scary action videos. He's with all this scary content. So I continue to do it with that for you guys. In this video, we're back to the creepiest internet mysteries. Guys, there are so many creepy internet mysteries out there. We're going to get straight into these. But if you guys enjoy the scary content, you guys want more scary content like this in the future, it's simple. You just hit that like button. You subscribe. And you turn notifications only takes less than a second. Let's dive straight into this video. Top five. Oh shit, here we go. There are some truly strange things to be found on the internet. From strange videos showing inexplicable footage to creepy internet mysteries that baffle thousands of people for years on end. Though many of these creepy internet mysteries have been solved, there are many more that are yet to be explained, and there's a very good chance that they never will be. Oh boy. Number five. Number five. Here we go. One such internet mystery is the website known as daddyanity.com. Bro, what the fuck? What exactly the creator of the website had in his mind is anyone's guess. Daddy there doesn't seem things? to be like, any rhyme or fuck? reason to the content on their site. <laughs> rhyme. Upon funny. arriving on the homepage, you'll be greeted by a white page containing a picture of a house with a smoking chimney and 21 lines of text, 15 of which start with the word obviously. This feels like it's going to lead to some Some examples of the shoot. text include obviously this room has perfect cause and effect. Obviously I will be your king. Obviously governments will disappear. And obviously, you will experience eye stories, to name but a few. Bro, I would Other equally weird lines on the page the include, I have so many tricks, and my TI is infinite. And it ends with the last two lines, when Daddy Anity is finished, everything begins. Bro, what the But this is only where the rabbit hole begins. One Reddit user found a URL named Painful Thoughts hidden on the page's About section. And when it's clicked, the user is redirected to a page called unobservable.com. Here, the visitor is told to stay away if they have a weak mind. And they're warned that any thoughts that they're about to read will be added to their brain logic structure. Oh, it also warns everything. that this will be done permanently. When Reddit users dug deeper into this creepy internet mystery, they discovered that a user named ThrasherDDoS created a subreddit called Daddyanity. And this user was tracked to the URL mbti.ai slash people. Oh, Here, the user is greeted by a picture of a man with the heading Meet Jack, alongside text saying, quote, raised to oversee government, and raised over the top. The page also has a drop-down menu entitled Switch Personality Type, with some of the main options being SP, SJ, NF, and FT. Some internet sleuths believe that the website is affiliated with some kind of cult, since they found text stating that Jack is Jesus and that God lives with him, using Jack's eyes to see. Others believe that the creator of the site may have had a psychotic break, and that the incoherent <laughs> rambling and nonsensical content He's is just a result like me, of bro. This. He's just like me. <laughs> One of the more baffling aspects of this site is the fact that it must have taken hundreds of hours to build, yet it seemingly has no actual purpose, unless the aim was to confuse anybody who accidentally stumbled across it. The site's true purpose is yet to be discovered, and for now, remains an unsolved but creepy internet mystery. Oh, shit. Number, Number four. four. When a musician reaches a certain level of fame, it usually means that they're set for life and they're able to continue their work in the industry at leisure. That, that's the beauty of making it, As long as they it, continue bro. to produce quality work. That's the beauty of making but it. But one musician called Shiloh Dynasty has become an internet mystery as things turned out very differently for them. Though no one is certain exactly what path they took and where they eventually ended up. When visiting Shiloh's Vine page, one can listen to 13 short clips of his music. The clips are usually only a few seconds long, with the longest track lasting around 30 seconds. This, Damn. together with the quality Snippets. of his voice and playing, made his tracks perfect for sampling by other hell, artists. And this that. is where Shiloh eventually gained recognition. Some of their tracks were used by X Tentacion on his album 17, oh, and shit. on three songs by the artist Swell I figured called it, I'm Sorry, I figured Everyone this Dies looks, in Their Nightmares, this seems and Jocelyn Flores. Other artists on SoundCloud also made use of Shiloh's vines since they were the perfect length to be used as samples. Songs including Shiloh's work have gained millions of plays, with Swell's I'm Sorry getting over 30 million plays alone. 
But the baffling part of Shiloh's story is what became of them after they became famous. The first of their vines was posted in the latter part of 2014, with their last entry being added in April of 2015. This period of just a few months was enough for Shiloh to garner an impressive fan base, but no one knows who they are or where they're from. Oh, shit. After their last vine was added, their Instagram and Twitter accounts saw a few updates, but by the following year, there were no more posts, no added songs, and no indication of whether there would be more music to listen to. Speculation ran rife, and as internet sleuths started looking into this baffling internet mystery, they started to realize that there was very little information to go on, the least of which was whether they were a man or a woman, though one producer who claims to have met them personally stated that they are female. Other fans believe that Shiloh is still active and well, and that they just prefer to stay out of the spotlight. But that doesn't explain why they've completely stopped uploading their music, especially since there would be no reason for them to go public with their actual identity, which remains unknown to this day. Oh God. Oh God. Number three. What the fuck? Facebook can be a polarizing social media platform, as some people consider it to be their go-to when posting about their lives while others prefer sites like Instagram or Twitter. But one Facebook user caused quite a stir on the site when she started posting strange status updates that still leave most visitors to her profile baffled. According to the About section of Karen's Facebook page, she was born in London, after which she gained a PhD from the University of Toronto. Toronto. She also claims to speak at least eight languages, some of which are German, Russian, and Latin. It also states that she is single and living in Canada, Kansas. But it was the nature of Karen's posts that caused concern and confusion among Facebook experts. I didn't get a passport. So Her first post was Canada added on the 20th of November, 2021, when she added a profile picture. But on that same day, the strangeness began. Her first status update is nothing but a series of numbers and letters with no spacing and no explanation. On the 27th of November, she posted a status that read password cracker, along with the text crack test and target, Yo, followed the by the numbers 23, 86, 111, 0. Oh, shit. There are many more similar posts, some being images of a series of numbers, some containing screenshots of police blotters, and one of which that mentions a sheriff named Nick Good. But as strange as this seems, it soon got even weirder. Karen started adding status updates and would often answer her own posts in a different language. Some of these posts were completely nonsensical, with the replies seemingly being unrelated to the original post. An example of this would be a post she made on the 22nd of May, in which she states, Glad Alexar is back, followed by comments on her own, added the following day that read, That trash is actually heterosexual is not certain. He's wired to George Blake through his early passports, gate passports. This is weird, One minute bro. later, she added Indrek's birthday, 16 May. Another post simply reads, this picture is the best I can do. No, it's not, I'm better now. Many users started noticing that Karen would seem perfectly normal and coherent one minute, but her post would suddenly become disjointed and garbled. This These led to many people speculating that she suffers from schizophrenia or a similar disorder. And this theory gained track. I feel sorry for anyone that has that, bro. Because, like, you see fucking, like, uh, hallucinations here shit that's, like, not even there, bro. Like, fuck that. Action. When her posts started to sound that paranoid. That would make, like, I don't know how. But Karen's that true thing. identity was never uncovered. And this creepy internet mystery is one that may endure for a long time to come. Ooh, number, number two. two. Number two. YouTube is a seemingly unending source of entertainment information and cat videos I'm not right but one shit. video that was uploaded on the 15th of april 2009 not left right many shit. people feeling uneasy and baffled as its purpose was unclear i'm not right for this the video shit. features an android dressed in a sweater what gray pants and a blonde wig it then proceeds to sing the words i feel fantastic this is the type of dark fantastic. web shit Type. Accompanied oh by electronic music that cascades between high and low scales, Damn, resulting in a sound that's both disorderly and disconcerting. Tall as hell, bro. At one point, the android is filmed sitting down, with the camera also placed upside down, and she now sports a black outfit instead. Although this is already rather bizarre, it's the next part of the video that caused the most speculation. 
As the strange electronic music continues, the visuals bro, are suddenly replaced by footage of a wooded area, and the camera zooms in on one seemingly inconsequential spot that contains nothing but some fallen foliage, a bush, in, and two trees. Was zoom into like a dead body the description accompanying the video only served to deepen confusion, as it references a mythical sculptor who's said to have fallen in love with one of the statues that he created. Lame it goes on wig. to state that the I Feel Fantastic was rumored to have been created by surrealists and abstract artists, but that this is almost certainly untrue. It adds the following lines, saying, quote, In the mind of her creator, she is a near goddess, the perfect representation, not just of femininity, but the peak of human potential, a perfectly satisfactory being. How does that kind of unconditional love feel? Well, how does she feel? Fantastic. I feel scared right then, now. Then viewers of the video started suggesting theories as to what the video actually meant. Many believed that the creepy video was a clue and that its creator was someone who'd ended a woman's life and had replaced her with an android, That's even fucking... going as far as dressing her in the woman's clothes. That's fucking weird. As for the shot of the wooded area, it was suggested that this was the spot where the woman's body was buried. That's what I said, But this bro. all remained mere speculation. But this is one creepy internet mystery that was finally solved when it was revealed that the android was created by musician John Bergeron, who named the robot Terra. He was merely trying his hand at building an android, and Terra was the result. He then added the I Feel Fantastic track to demonstrate her movements and made the song available for purchase in the United States for around $11. And so this creepy mystery came to an end. Number Ooh, one, God, number one in my right a YouTuber shit. called Human Being 151, who goes by the moniker Insomniac, uploaded a series of videos to YouTube, seemingly with only one intention, to gain the attention of well-known rapper P. Diddy. In one of Insomniac's videos, he films a room in which there are hundreds, if not thousands of notebooks, and he zooms in on a piece of paper bro, that reads Mr. Diddy. Call me weird, all but this work I type I have done lyrics, for you. Bro. When I make songs, I Some type of his other lyrics. videos include a message to the rapper that reads Diddy needs to check his MySpace inbox because he's been sent an important message, though it never becomes clear what this message is. When he eventually opens one of the notebooks, it contains a single line. Mr. P. Diddy, please accept. And when he flips through the rest of the book, we can see that the line is repeated over and over again filling the entire book. He oh, opens one of the other books and it's exactly the same as the previous book, with that one line written hundreds of times. Many people started doubting the uploader's sanity, not least because it reminded them of the movie The Shining. There is speculation that Human Being 151 is a man called Anil Jain, but why he had that many notebooks containing a single repeated phrase, and whether his obsession is still as bad as it was, remains a creepy internet mystery thank you guys so Damn, much for crazy. watching well guys that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it that tall ass lady with that creepy ass wig guys what do you guys think that was about like it seems like a dark web video i've seen before but now nah, if you guys enjoyed this scary content you guys want more scary videos like this in the future you guys are know what to do now i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>